I just want to start off by saying we need to get, we we need to have some some restaurants open late, man. <laughs> We're supposed to be a food city. They cl- close at ten o'clock on a Friday, bro. Where they do that at, man? I just want to put that out there. All yep. right. Well, Josh Hart needs late night food recommendations for anybody who heard that. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys are. Uh, I mean, you guys are obviously got off that real tough start this season, but I think these last twelve, maybe seven and five. Uh, what do you feel like? You guys have just figured out as a team what has changed. Um. I think we've gotten more comfortable in our per, uh, our personality as a team. Um, I think we got more comfortable and defined in our roles um, and kind of what to expect with everybody on a game-to-game basis. So um, I think that's the biggest thing, just kind of getting more comfortable. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's a new team. If you look at that starting lineup that we have right now and that, we, that we've had for the last several, uh, you know, games, you know, the only guys that played together is me and B.I. And, you know, you got Herb, who's a rookie, JV, who's new, Tay, who's new. So we just got a lot of new people. And if you look at the bench, you know, you know, Sato's new, Temp's new, Trey's new. You know, it's just a lot of new faces. So I think we're really starting to get more comfortable and, um, you know, knowing what everyone's going to do. What is the personality of the team? Um, you know, a, a team that wants to play fast. Wants to get you know get stops and get out and move. Um, we're working on executing, uh, and I think we've done a great job of that and showed growth in the last two or three games. Um, but I think the biggest thing is getting stops and, and pushing the pace. Yeah, I know, uh, you guys, along with Coach, have been pushing Devontae to, to get more aggressive offensively. What would you like to see him these past two games? Uh, you know, break out the league has. Um, it's good, uh, and you know we want to just keep finding him in um, places and areas that he can be successful in. Get him coming off screens, get him um, running in transition, uh, and, and um, knocking down up shots. So it's been good to see him start to really get more comfortable in um, how we're playing and more comfortable in in himself. And uh, when he's knocking down shots and aggressive, it makes us better as a team. How much do y'all kind of feed off of each other? How, how fun is it to play with a guy that kind of brings the same level of intensity as you do on the defensive end? Um, I mean, it's, it's great. He's someone who takes a challenge uh, every game. Um, and, you know, it is, is different for defenders because um, you have myself who wants to be a little more physical, um, who – uh, wants to force you, you know, into into those tough twos, and then you have Herb, who's um, has great lateral movement, some who's very lengthy, and, and so you get a different feel. You get a more of a physicality with me, and then you have him, who's just able to sit down and and guard um, on the perimeter, you know, greatly. You got one job. See? <laughs> My wife in here. All she got to do is just sit there and listen. And she's just going there making noises. You were uh, involved in a play. Um, interested if you can remember it. <clears throat> you were defending uh, Grayson Allen. You got the ball away from him and got the front court where mm-hmm. um, Herb and uh, Jonas kind of finished it. Yep. Uh, I know one, one play doesn't necessarily make or break a game like that, but I was wondering if you found that play particularly memorable or meaningful in terms of how it exemplifies the way this lineup is coming together. Yeah. Um, I, I somewhat remember it. Uh, I think Grayson Allen had the ball on the um, with my right, um, the right wing, and um, Jonas called down, and, you know, I, I didn't get into the ball good enough to get to force him down. He got over a little bit, but I was able to kind of, um, you know, get the ball away from him. And then I think it was Tay who – I think it was Tay that got on the ground. Um, and, and then we got uh, whoever whoever kicked the ball up ahead uh, to Herb and Jonas or whatever, and they finished. Um, but, you know, for us, that's a big – you know, a big play because we need to get 50-50 balls. You know, we don't have, we, like I said, we always have a small a margin of error. So we got to get those 50-50 balls. And um, for 
you know, me to be physical to kind of start that and then Tay to get on the ground um, and, and get dirty to help us as a team. And, you know, Herb and Jonas is always, you know, guys we can rely on. So that, that play was really big for us in terms of just um, having a tone of just being tough and gritty. Um, yeah, I don't remember too much because I remember, uh, uh, when I did that, I kind of, when I got it away from Grayson, I kind of just fell and sat on him. So, um, I don't really remember too much of that. And I, I just remember I, I started running down. I had one shoe on, so it was, I was all messed up that play, but, um, I mean, I was happy we, uh, we finished it. Cool. Appreciate it. Recording stopped.